In the previous video, we looked at multiplying uh, x's by itself. So x times x would be written as x squared. So likewise, x times x times x would be written as x cubed. And you could take one step further. You could say, well, x times x times x times x would be x to the power of 4. Okay, so x multiplied by itself four times. Now, that means that if we had something like x to the 2 times x cubed, so if we were multiplying two of these x to the powers together, we would have, well, x squared is x times x, and x cubed is x times x times x, which, if we combine these, well, that means I've got x times x times x times x times x, which will be x to the power of 5. And what you want to notice is that how do I get from x squared times x cubed to x to the 5? Well, it's got to be something to do with those powers, 2 and 3, and you should be able to notice that we've got 2 plus 3 makes 5. So when you multiply things together, where you've got the same base number, this same x, the same letter, then you can add the powers. So if you've got something like x to the 7 times x to the 9, then I'm not going to write out 7x's and then 9x's, okay? Because in total, I would have 16x's. So it would be x to the 16. So I could do something like x to the 100, plus x to the 150, and this would be, oh sorry, times x to the 150, and then I would have x to the 250, okay? So if you are multiplying, you can add the powers together. And what that allows you to do is then say, well, okay, let's say I've got something like uh, 6x cubed times by 3 x to the 8, then as before, you can treat, well, deal with the numbers first, so we have 6 times 3 is 18, and then deal with the algebra. x cubed times x to the 8 would now be x to the 11, because 3 plus 8 is 11, okay? So it's a very similar problem as before, but when you're multiplying and you've got x's, uh, both the terms of x, then you can add the powers.